looks like I found the first ever agent UI where you can build agents with memory, knowledge, tools, and reasoning all completely with an open source framework of co-agents integrated with Langchain agents. For the people who do not know, co-agents enables you to build next-gen AI applications with agents being integrated within them. These are production grade agents that you can create within apps powered by Langgraph agents that can think, adapt, collaborate with users in real time. For the people who do not know, Copilot Kit is an open source framework that hosts code agents and it allows developers to seamlessly integrate AI copilots into your application. It offers customizable UI components, real time user and application specific context, which is going to also provide you actionable APIs for creating intelligent interactive features like a chat, you have suggestions and even generative interfaces. Now with this built in support for Langchain and Langgraph, Copilot is going to enable the creation of adaptive production grade AI agents that can enhance user experience and streamline workflows. And like I mentioned at the start, co-agents within Copilot enable real-time adaptive and context-aware agents for next-gen AI apps. It's powered by Langgraph and it offers seamless state sync generative UIs, as well as human in the loop checkpoints for engaging in intelligent user experience. But now let's see the co-agents live within this UI to get a better idea of what you're capable of doing. Hey, it's Graham with Copilot Kit. Today I'm gonna to show you how easy it is to get a front end up and going on top of your LangGraph agent. So you built an agent in LangGraph, you played with it in LangGraph Studio, but you kinda of wanna get a feel for how it looks like in production. I'm gonna show you how easy that is with Copilot Kit. So first we're here in our LangGraph Studio and we're just gonna go ahead and open this folder. That's gonna get our LangGraph agent running. That looks good. And you see right down here, we've got our localhost URL. So we're just gonna copy that and then head over to our uh, Visual Studio. I'm just gonna paste that new URL right here in this demo. And I've done very little to configure this demo other than adding new environment variables and adding in this new URL. So I'll go ahead and sit, hit save and make sure that's saved. I'm just gonna restart just for funsies, my backend here, back, my uh, Copilot Kit backend. And then I've got, that looks like that's running. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit refresh over here on my local host and then say, can you please write an email to my boss? And let's pull LangGraph Studio back up. And you can see there's that email to my boss getting written. So that's it. So next time you build an agent, just grab a Copilot Kit demo, drop the URL from LangGraph Studio right in that demo, and you can give them a 90% of the way they're functioning prototype. It helps you feel a lot closer to getting to the finish line and get your stakeholders bought in sooner. So I hope that works. Thanks so much. Now to get started and have this agent UI installed locally, you're gonna need to have a couple of prerequisites fulfilled. You're gonna need to make sure that you obviously have LangGraph installed. This is where you're going to need to create your agent beforehand with LangGraph agents. Once that is done, you can go ahead and install VS Code as your code editor. This is to configure your environment variables. You also need to have Python installed, your programming language. You need to make sure that you have Git installed. This is to clone the repository onto your computer. And you will also need Poetry installed. And lastly, you'll need to have the Code Agent framework installed. It's super easy to install this. What you can do is you can install this with npm, npm, as well as yarn and bun. So we're going to go ahead and copy this. We're going to go into our command prompt. Once we have opened this up, we're going to go ahead and paste this in and click enter. This will install the Copilot uh, React UI for co-agents. And once that is done, we can then go back into this GitHub repository and we can get started. To get started, you want to head over to the GitHub repository for a Copilot kit. Once you're here, click on this green button and click on copy to clipboard. Once you have copied the URL, open up your command prompt and you want to type in git clone and then paste in the link and click enter. This will start cloning this repository. It might take a bit longer because this is a pretty big file. But once it has finished cloning, we can then proceed forward. What you want to do first is head over to the Copilot kit directory. So go over, type in cd copilot kit within your command prompt. Then you want to cd get into the copilot agent QA uh, directory. So for some reason, I need to copy the right path. 
cd example so just go ahead and just copy this path it'll be easier once you are here you want to then cd into the agent once you are in the agent directory you can then install poetry so go ahead and install it by copying this command once poetry is installed we can then go ahead and create a .env file inside the agent directory so go ahead and open up vs code you can go ahead and create a new window and you can open up the folder of Copilot kit so simply go ahead and find it as to wherever you had cloned it so this might take a bit longer for me because i am blind but we should be able to guys it took me at least 20 seconds to see it and there we go so now that i am within this uh Copilot kit uh, directory or folder you want to go over to the example tab then you want to find our co-agents qa demo which is over here so you can click this go over to agent and what you're going to need to do is create a new file so you want to go ahead right click on this uh the agent tab and you want to create a new file so simply click on this and you can just simply name it env once that is done go over to this and you want to go ahead back into this repo you want to copy the open ai underscore api underscore ap uh, underscore key equals sign and then you want to copy this back into this new file that we created so go ahead and paste this in once that is done you want to then paste in your api key and once that is finished and pasted in you can then click on file click save and you can actually close vs code what you can also do afterwards is you can run the demo with poetry this command over here but what we're going to be doing is running the ui so we're going to go back into this original path which is the co-agent qa not the agent path but back to this and what you want to do is type in cd and go into the ui so once you are within the ui you can then have it so that you paste and copy the env file that you had already set within the agent tab into the new ui tab and once that is done you can run the pnp run dev command within your command prompt and you can click enter afterwards you can just go over to your local host by clicking on this and it should be running within a couple of seconds it might take a bit longer because this is definitely going to take some time to load up but we should have it available within our local host and there we go we have our agent now fully working now it looks like we're getting this console error because we don't have copilot kit installed within the necessary path so i'm going to add it to the right path and then you can start accessing this agent ui for this email QA example now you can also have langraph studio opened up on the side and you can basically visualize what is happening on that end as well if you like this video and would love to support the channel you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different ai tools for free on a monthly basis plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. And obviously this is just an example uh, repo of using the UI within uh, this Q&A demo. But there's also many other examples that you can get started with. So if you're interested, you can easily start up this agent UI with many of these different other examples. And essentially you can copy and paste certain components that you like, and you can basically use it with your own agent UI. In that case, the demo that we were working with was a Q&A example. So if you want to use the same agent UI for a Q&A, for asking questions or executing commands, such as writing emails, this would be a great ideal way for you to do so. But in the same manner, you have so many other examples that you can use, and you can even use components from other examples to build out your own flow for an agent UI that you can use in production. But that's basically it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. There is a lot more to this uh, integration of LangChain and CoAgents. So definitely recommend that you read through their docs because there is a lot of tutorials that will help you out. And there's going to be a lot more updates coming soon. I definitely recommend that you give them a star. They have been continuously pushing a lot of great things. And this is why I tend to make a lot of videos with them because they have a lot of helpful things that help a lot of the viewers on this channel. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll leave all these links in the description below. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon, follow me on Twitter, and lastly, make sure you guys follow me on YouTube.
Make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you'll definitely benefit from. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys fairly soon. Peace out, fellas.